Hey, Jess, as things stand right now, Democratic challenger Ivan Bates is holding a sizable lead in the three-way race to become Baltimore's next top prosecutor with 41% of the vote. The former prosecutor and defense attorney holds a nine-point advantage over incumbent Marilyn Mosby and former federal and state prosecutor Theru Vignaraja. The same three candidates faced off back in 2018 where Bates finished second to Mosby. As of this morning, Bates is leading by more than four 4,100 votes. He's campaigned on holding violent repeat offenders accountable through effective prosecution, prioritizing alternatives to incarceration. Mosby is in second place with 32% of votes, followed by Vignaraja with about 27%. Mosby is seeking a third term in the role, but this year she has the cloud of a federal case hanging over her. She spent her campaign touting her record of freeing those falsely accused and how her office is no longer prosecuting certain low level nonviolent offenses. Vignaraja is campaigning on a platform pledge to reduce Baltimore's homicide rate and promises to achieve that goal quickly. There is still a big batch of mail-in votes coming in here in Baltimore City specifically. About 22,000 mail-in votes that can't be opened until tomorrow. And as we await the final vote tallies, Bates tells WJZ he's feeling confident. If I am blessed to win, that I recognize I've made a lot of promises to the citizens that I have to work as hard as I've worked on my campaign. I have to work twice as hard. And um, I'll do everything I can to make sure I do the best that I can to keep everybody safe in our city. And a reminder, there are no Republican candidates running in the primary for Baltimore City State's attorney. So whoever runs this race will likely become Baltimore's next top prosecutor. For now, reporting live this morning, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.